Please give it up for Dr. Carlos Gutierrez. Good morning. Um, we're not marching. So, so figuratively, everybody pretend that we are, that we are marching. I march for science because it's been a blessing to us. Much of what is pleasant about modern life is a consequence of the development of science and engineering. The projected lifespan of an American child today is 79 years, up from 47 a century ago. This gift of a, an additional 31 years of life is due largely to improvements through science in nutrition, pharmaceuticals, sanitation, and environmental remediation. Two decades ago, an AIDS diagnosis was a sentence to an imminent and horrible death. Now, we can manage the disease with a certain amount of, uh, of dignity into old age. We can cure hepatitis. Science got us to the moon and is guiding our tentative first steps to the stars. If application of science has caused societal problems, think environmental pollution, antibiotic resistant bacteria and chicken nuggets, the solution or mitigation of these is also within science. Without science and engineering, solutions are not possible. I march for science because it's a creative human activity for understanding the world. We seek to gain, through designed experimentation, a comprehension of the world, and with that, the ability to describe manipulate and create. Undoubtedly, the most interesting scientific questions of the 21st century have not been asked, nor yet, perhaps, a vocabulary formulated to pose them. What is clear, that there's a lot of hard and joyous work ahead as we make giant strides, or timidly, inch towards a better, if provisional, understanding. I march for science because its most valuable asset has always been the creativity, inventiveness, and intellectual capital of the practitioners of science. So, who gets to do science? Who gets to ask and answer research questions? SACNAS, the Society for the Advancement of Chicanos and Native Americans in Science, answers that it must be all of us. That talent is broadly distributed among all human populations that it's in the best interest of scientific and engineering disciplines and of society that the scientific workforce be comprised of creative, insightful, and thoughtful individuals from all our racial, ethnic, and gender populations and social classes. Our worldview, including research questions that we formulate, develop, and go about answering, is influenced by our life histories our metaphors, our cultures. My own outlook, including the way I approach chemistry, the research questions I formulate and allow myself to answer, is influenced by my own life history and circumstances. I do view the world somewhat differently because I am Latino, the son of Mexican immigrants to Los Angeles, that I was an art student and film animator before discovering that chemistry is an exceptionally beautiful expression of human creativity. Who, who we are informs what we do. I march for science because it prefers that we be of two minds, that we cultivate two minds. The mature and wise mind that understands how knowledge is created and organized, how disciplinary dogma becomes dogma, how we know what we know. We cultivate also the naive and childlike mind that wonders at and is, is, is inspired by the world. I march for science because it demands that we question. And by reminding us how to question, we regain our voice. We cannot be silent. Are there any teachers in the audience? <laughs> teachers, teach us how to question. I march for science because science belongs to all of us, not only to professional scientists. We are all scientists. If you can ask a question, imagine possible answers, and let evidence guide you to the most likely solution, you are a scientist. Whether you're a professional, 
a teacher, a citizen scientist, or an engaged citizen. Our society depends heavily on science and technology. Science is complex and society is complex. What do we need to know as citizens to make reasonable decisions about our lives in this increasingly complex society? How do we as citizens participate in civic discussion on science issues? Society needs you and our diverse fellow citizens to be advocates for science as to drive the inclusion of evidence-based perspectives into public policy necessary for action at the local, state, and national levels. Let's remember that science has at its core the question, your question. Ask your questions, find your voice, and never, ever be silent. Vote.